is going on, everybody? My name is Jacob Forster, and welcome to There is a Man in the Attic, a very aptly named game here. When I was a kid, I often had the same nightmare. It was about this man just standing in my room looking at me. I was convinced that he came from the attic. I shared a bedroom with my brother at the time, and when I had this dream, I often spoke out loud during my sleep. According to my brother, I said things like, Somebody is here. There's a man here. He is here. It freaked my brother out in the middle of the night a couple of times. I'm an adult now, and that horrible nightmare is just a distant memory now. Spooky. This is uh, another itch.io horror game. Fine phone. And uh, it looks spectacular. Graphics are great. I think this is Unreal Engine 4. Um, man, you walk slow, though. <laughs> All right, time to find my phone. I was worried the uh, menu screen was incredibly quiet. I was like, am I, uh, is my audio broken? <laughs> What's going on here? Beep boop ba boo All right, I'm coming for you, phone. I doubt it's in the bedroom, so let's walk around. Is that the attic? <laughs> That's just the second story. I don't know what they're talking about. I don't need to use the bathroom now. What do you have to say if I have to use the bathroom? What if I need to drop the biggest deuce of my life right now? <laughs> okay, here's the front door. Very dark in the non-lit areas, but that is to be expected. That's how light <laughs> and dark works. All right, here's my phone. How do I check phone? Oh, I just click it. Hey brother, just wanna let you know that we arrived home safely. Thank you for the invitation. We had a great time and it was nice to catch up. I also feel like I have to apologize for Lily's behavior, but you know how kids are in their imagination. She's probably very tired as well. See you later. Take care. At 20, 23 p.m. They shouldn't have to specify p.m. if they're using military time. <laughs> okay. It's getting late, but I should clean up first. Oh, you know me. Always in these horror games, cleaning up my messes. Clean up the dining table. Yo, those are disgusting plates. Today my brother came to visit and he brought his family along. His wife and their seven year olds, seven years old daughter. Her name is Lily and technically she's my niece. It's been a while since I last seen them. So we spent about half an hour catching up with each other, just talking. After a while I noticed that Lily was really uninterested. I don't blame her after all. Adults talking about everyday stuff is probably the most boring thing for a child. Pretty good uncle. So I offered to let her watch TV in the upstairs room. Showed her all the cartoon channels and let her there to watch some TV. Away from the boring adults. She was grateful. Okay. Well, time to take these plates into the kitchen. Boy, oh boy, my kitchen sure is dark. I, if I lived here and it's the middle of the night and I'm alone home working, there would not be a pitch black corner of one of my rooms just chilling there like that. You gotta have at least some ambient light so you know that there's no Ghosts. The night went on. Seems like everyone had a good time. Dinner was ready, so I was about to go upstairs, upstairs, to get Lily to eat with us. And that's when all of a sudden Lily ran downstairs screaming. She looked absolutely terrified. It took her a couple of minutes before she could speak, but then she finally said this. There was a man upstairs, staring at me from the doorway. Confused, perhaps a bit frightened, we all went upstairs, searched everything, checked the attic as well, only to find nothing. Eventually, my brother dismissed Lily's story, claimed she was probably just getting tired, and soon after, they left for the night. I am once again completely alone in the house, and Lily's story sounds way too familiar. Well, that's even more of a reason to turn your lights on, buddy. There's no shame in sleeping with the lights on every once in a while. Sometimes you just get absolutely spooked. Sometimes you play a really good horror game. Sometimes you watch a really good horror game. You're watching a video on YouTube, and you're like, whoa, that scared me real bad. I gotta keep all my lights on. <laughs> Time to get some sleep. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> boiler room, I don't need to go there. Well, that's suspicious that we have a boiler room. Can I leave? Oh boy, we're so slow. Also, buddy, take your phone. Take your phone with you. It's got a nice little flashlight feature. It's got a recording feature. You worried there's a man in the house? Just <laughs> pay record. Show it to the police. <laughs> they'll they'll fix it right up. <laughs> You're just gonna go to the police and they're gonna be like, a man in your attic? 
I don't think so. All right, time to go to bed. Hello. So what am I? What I'm get? Oh, according to Lily's story, this is where the man was standing, looking straight at her from this doorway, before returning to the attic, just like in my dreams. Yeah. Yeah. These noises, they're coming from the attic. Oh! Search the attic. Oh, the door's open now. No, 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 no. I'm going to bed. <laughs> I was just about to say, this is going to be one of those horror games where like they really want you to do a bunch of specific tasks. And then like at the very end is where the jump is. The jump scare, uh, but uh, for some reason my mind is telling me like, no, the jump scare is going to happen super early and then we're going to have to be frightened of whatever's going to come through the end of the game. Apparently this is a short experience, like 10 minutes or so, but is there time to... Oh, I... <laughs> I'm going at this in a pretty joking manner, but I'm actually terrified to look in the attic right now. I don't remember leaving this door open. How'd that get in there? <laughs> Oh, no, I don't want to see this. This is where you just you just walk back downstairs. You grab your phone, you go outside and then you just call a friend, phone a friend, get a lifeline, do something for yourself. Oh, are we going to be the man in the attic? Is it eventually going to be us? Oh, this is great. This is great. Okay, this is either gonna be Resident Evil Village. I'm so sorry, I'm cutting in so much. This is either gonna be Resident Evil Village where there's nothing in there except like a, a like a mouse or something. Oh, what is that picture? What is that picture? Or uh, or he's gonna straight up just be in there. Oh, I can't interact with it. Oh, this makes it worse. I don't want to turn around now. This is stupid. There's nothing up here. Why do we have this in the attic? I can't sprint. I can't run. I can't do anything. The door's going to close on us, isn't there? Isn't it? I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look around. I'm not going to look behind me. It's going straight to bed. Straight to bed. We're going to bed. I can jump out from the corner. We're going to bed. 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 I'm not looking anywhere. I'm not looking left. Go to bed. <laughs> Please. Please. Sometimes a strange noise at night keeps you awake. Then you anxiously search for the cause, but you won't find anything. And you question it once more. Hmm. Nice little quote. Appreciate it. What do I do? Do I just wait? I hit escape. Did that work? I think that worked. Is the man in the attic real? Did you go to bed? <laughs> oh, I'm not moving. What's going on? I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this at all. Is he real? Oh, I don't like this! <laughs> oh, I don't like this! <laughs> I really don't like this. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's creepy. Fear is subjective, but it is not uncommon to be afraid of the man in the attic or the man in the basement. Perhaps the man under your bed. The man under your couch. <laughs> okay. You just have to wait. I can't click out of it. Thank you for playing my specific fear. The man in the attic. Oh, that was great. Oh, that was a really good use of kind of scare tactics. Not having like an actual jump scare. I really like that. That, that really just kind of sets up for letting your imagination play out. Um, through kind of pl like playing this game and 
or even like watching this video. Um, if you have an attic at home, I don't have like an actual attic. I've got like a little crawl space attic thingy. Um, makes you think about like all the weird little noises that you might hear, or if you do have a basement or something outside, you just hear all these noises and it makes your makes your mind think, makes you unease, gives you the chills, goosebumps all over your body. Um, so yeah, that was that was such a simple short little game but very effective in kind of bringing that fear out and i like that they didn't have to resort to any type of jump scares or any uh necessarily like really terrifying imagery to to bring out a little scary experience so that was uh there is a man in your attic <laughs> wonderful little game and i uh, hope you all enjoyed this as much as i did but if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment down below love to hear any thoughts and feelings from you all and if you're not already subscribed consider doing so hit that bell notification that we know exactly I'm uploading any new videos. And if you would like to see any new or more content from me, you're welcome to follow me on any of my other socials like my Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, got a Discord channel and a bunch of other cool things. Always listen in the description down below. But of course, that all being said, you all are awesome. You all are amazing. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next video. Later. <laughs>